Here we go again. Barcelona are reportedly keen on securing a loan deal for Manchester United winger Jadon Sancho, according to sources such as The Sun and transfer expert Fabrizio Romano. The 24-year-old winger's future at Old Trafford appears uncertain, with Spanish outlet Sport claiming that the Catalan giants are closely monitoring his situation. Sancho, who endured a difficult season last year following a fallout with Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag, has since been reintegrated into the squad. Despite this, he was notably left out of the matchday squad for the Red Devils Premier League opener last weekend, fueling speculation about his future at the club. Barcelona, dealing with financial constraints, are said to be exploring a loan deal for the English winger. The La Liga side is looking to bolster their attacking options, and Sancho's availability has piqued their interest. A move to Camp Nou could provide Sancho with a fresh start, and for Barcelona, it offers a relatively low-cost solution to strengthen their squad. However, it remains to be seen whether Manchester United would be willing to part with Sancho, especially after spending a significant fee to bring him to Old Trafford in 2021. Sancho's form and ability to perform at the highest level could still be valuable to United as they navigate a packed season across multiple competitions. In other transfer news, Manchester United have reportedly reached an agreement to sign Malian wonderkid Seko Kohn from Guidars FC. The 18-year-old defensive midfielder is set to have a medical next week, ahead of a move worth one millions of pounds. Kohn is considered one of Africa's brightest young talents and his signing reflects Manchester United's commitment to bolstering their youth ranks. Upon completion of the deal, Cohn will initially join the club's under-21 squad to allow him time to adjust to the demands of English football and life in the UK. The signing of Cohn aligns with United's long-term strategy of identifying and nurturing young talents especially in key positions. His arrival adds depth to United's midfield options for the future, and if his development goes according to plan, he could become an important player for the senior squad in the coming years. While Sancho's potential departure may dominate headlines, United's acquisition of Cone is a move aimed at securing the club's future ensuring that they continue to build a squad capable of competing at the highest levels in years to come, again and again. Manchester United are reportedly in the final stages of securing a deal for Paris Saint-Germain, PSG midfielder Manuel Ugarte, with trusted transfer journalist Fabrizio Romano and various other sources suggesting that the agreement is close to completion. Romano, renowned for his accuracy on transfer matters, first revealed over a month ago that Ugarte had agreed to personal terms with Manchester United. Despite PSG's resistance to losing the 22-year-old midfielder, the discussions have progressed rapidly in recent weeks. United are now edging closer to finalizing a deal that could see the Uruguay international make the switch to Old Trafford before the end of the transfer window. The proposed structure of the transfer is a loan with an obligation to buy at the end of the season. This format would ease the immediate financial strain on United while securing a long-term addition to their midfield. While other midfielders such as Atalanta's Ederson have been linked with Manchester United, reports make it clear that Ugarte has always been the club's top target. Romano confirmed last week that no formal bids had been made for Ederson, and United's focus remains solely on finalizing the Ugarte deal. Talks between United and PSG have reportedly been positive, with the two clubs working on the final details of the move. United's preference for a loan deal with an obligatory purchase option aligns with their financial strategy, as they continue to make investments in other key areas of the squad. Should the deal be completed, Ugarte will add depth and dynamism to Eric Ten Hag's midfield options. Known for his combative style, work rate, and ability to win back possession, Ugarte would provide an important defensive shield in front of the back line, complementing the likes of Casemiro, Kabi Mainu, and Bruno Fernandes. United's midfield has been a key focus this summer, with the need to add fresh energy and versatility to compete on all fronts in the upcoming season. The acquisition of Ugarte, a player known for his aggressive pressing and tactical intelligence, could prove to be a smart move as the Red Devils seek to challenge for major honors in both the Premier League and Europe. With the deal now in its final stages, according to Romano, Manchester United fans can expect further updates soon. The club has moved quickly in recent days to wrap up the agreement with PSG, 
and Ugarte's arrival at Old Trafford could be confirmed shortly if the final details are resolved as expected. Fabrizio Romano said that, here we go, confirmation may not be far off, as the transfer window inches towards its conclusion, and United work diligently to secure one of their key targets for the season ahead. In other news, Eric Ten Hag has commented on Jadon Sancho's availability for Manchester United's trip to Brighton. The winger missed last weekend's win over Fulham due to an ear infection. Ten Hag said, We will see. We have a squad, I hope we will have a squad with double positioning, and when we go into the season after September 1, that means you can't select all the players, but you need them all throughout the season. We have to manage it. The attitude of the players is very important. Sometimes they will be disappointed they have to deal with it. You win as a squad. The prizes are decided next May, and until then, we need all the players in the squad and highly motivated. That is not an expectation. That is a demand on the squad. Moreover, Chris Sutton believes Marcus Rashford is at risk of losing his position in the Manchester United starting lineup. He told Instant Withdrawal Casino that, If we see the Marcus Rashford of last season, that seemed to feel a bit sorry for himself, then he's going to have a fight to get back into the starting eleven. When he's motivated and with a clear mind, he can be a devastating footballer and as good as any of the other best attacking players in the world, but it really depends on which version of himself decides to turn up this season. If Rashford returns to the squad in a good state of mind and with a clear head, Manchester United will have a better season than they did last year. There were certainly issues in the goal-scoring department last season, and his lack of form was a big contributor to that. It looks like Eric Ten Hag will have more players to pick from in wide areas and up front, which gives him a good selection headache to have, but a fully firing Rashford can still be a massive asset for the club. Meanwhile, Joshua Xerxes has been tipped to instantly build on his first game match-winning heroics. Manchester United's new 36 millions of pounds frontman came on to drill the only goal of last Friday's Premier League opener at home to Fulham. Ten Hag said, very pleasing that a player who is a striker scores his first goal in his first game. That will give him the confidence. I'm very pleased that it's happened. It gives him confidence and gives us confidence as a team. Elsewhere, Eric Ten Hag wants two players challenging for every position. The Manchester United boss is still expected to bring in PSG's defensive midfielder Manuel Ugarte. Ten Hag said, We will see. We have a squad. I hope we will have a squad with double positioning. And when we go into the season after September were, that means you can't select all the players, but you need them all throughout the season. Additionally, Eric Ten Hag insists he's delighted with his summer signing so far, and might not be finished. Manchester United have brought in striker Joshua Xerxes, plus defenders Matthijs De Ligt, Nusser Mazraoui, and Lenny Yoro. Ten Hag said, We're very pleased. It shows we're going in the right direction. We know as a club we have to catch up, but it shows our ambition, the way we want to go. We have done good business, very good players, quality players who will add, contribute to our squad, again and again. Manchester United are reportedly planning to hold contract talks with Kabi Mainu. The 19-year-old's current deal with the Red Devils expires in the summer of 2027, but United reportedly hoping to tie him down to a bumper new deal as they plan to build a midfield around him. Meanwhile, Manuel Ugarte is eager to make the move to Old Trafford this summer, with the midfielder thought to have agreed personal terms in July. United made it clear earlier this month they would not meet PSG's initial demands of 60 millions of euros for the Uruguay International, but the two clubs have remained in talks in attempts to thrash out a deal, a permanent transfer this summer, and a loan deal which would include an obligation to buy next year, have both been discussed. Le Parisien now report a deal which will see Ugarte join United a permanent basis. This summer is close to being completed. United will pay 51 millions of pounds for the 23-year-old, a fee very close to the one PSG parted with only last summer to sign him from Sporting Lisbon. While there are some details still to be finalized, the move is now expected to be completed in the coming days. 